Hi, my name is Naomi and I'm the creator of Two and or Four. I decided to do something a little bit different today. I um, decided to uh, decorate the bottom of my leggings. I wear a lot of black leggings, so I decided to uh, find a DTF design that I like that would give me a pop of color. And um, I modified it to be the size I needed, and the design is from Creative Fabrica. All right, so let's get started. What you'll need is a minimum of two DTF transfers um, in mirror image of each other um, because legs are on opposite sides. And um, I chose at this point to only do it in the front. Um, I may do a video later on. I may try it in the back. I recommend you use an old pair of leggings uh, to try this out. And so you'll need a pair of leggings. You'll need some kind of pressing pillow. Um, you will need a X-Acto knife and um, a ruler. Uh, I find that it's just easiest if you really trim your design down um, to the very edge. And some parchment paper. And that's all you really need. Um, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to trim this with an X-Acto knife and a metal ruler. Um, just because it's going to make it easier for me to actually put it on the garment. So I'm really only like cutting the edges. I'm not worrying about the middle of the design. So I'm pressing both um, legs and um, then I'm going to put the pillow inside of one of the legs. So I first tried putting the pillow through the bottom of the garment but um, I quickly realized that it was going to be better if I just went from the waist down the leg and had the pillow come out of the leg um, that was actually a lot easier. So I pulled the pillow down, the pressing pillow down, and I wanted it to stick out about half inch to an inch or so. And um, I tried to, strength, uh, to st straighten my seams out um, and add the seam uh, on the pillow the way that I wanted it. I can move on to the next step which was placing the transfer. So I decided that I would make sure that the bottom edge of my transfer was at the bottom of the leggings and that that would be my guiding uh, point. And um, then I was going to use heat tape to hold it down. 
I made sure to put the rest of the legging, um, other than the leg that I was using, underneath my heat press so it wouldn't drag down because otherwise the uh, there would be a pull on the legging, on the leg that I was trying to press. Once I liked where I had it and I just decided to go ahead and press and the again the press 315 for uh, 315 degrees for 12 seconds as you see my heat press is running a little hot it was running at 318 um, which is fine um, then I went ahead and I pressed it and um, once it was ready, I uh, took the pillow out so I could use it in the other leg. You just have to be careful because it will be very hot. Now I switch to the other side. I put the transfer on the other leg and I'm going to press the second leg. While the second leg is pressing, we're going to go ahead and peel that first leg. I've let it cool um, in between. It actually took me um, at least a minute in between, um, probably more than that. And as you see there, I got in the way of the heat press opening. So uh, be careful when you're doing things like this. I finished peeling the first leg and I was pretty pleased with the results. It gives me just a bit of color on my plain black leggings. Now we'll just wait for the second leg to cool a bit. Um, it's very hot when it first comes off. Yep. So I've gone ahead and peeled the second leg and then I'm going to do my second press on both legs and that will be at 315 for like, oh, somewhere between uh, 8 and 10 seconds. I'm going to use parchment paper um, to cover it and you can reuse the parchment paper over and over. It's not like a sublimation that you have to worry for the ink to come off on the paper. All right, on to the second leg. Um, I will tell you that the um, feel of the DTF on the legging is... Um, kind of rubbery, plasticky. Um, I don't think it's gonna bother me um, when I wear the leggings, but just wanted to note that. So here's the design. So that's what the bottom of the leggings look like. Um, it just gives me a pop of color because uh, I wear a lot of black leggings. And that's it. All right, so I really did like how it came out. I decided to only do it in the front. Um, I'll get brave enough at some point to try to see if I can decorate both front and back. Uh, I really did enjoy doing this. It was something new. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate your subscribing. And that's it for now. Take care.